Hello YouTube, hello YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Kid, who sent this with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you me installing Windows 95 on this Gateway Solo 2500, and so, and it has like a Pentium MMX, and without further ado, Let's turn the laptop on. Let's go into BIOS. Let's uh, go to. I'm gonna go and check our, our disk media. So now we actually can. And so make sure this is that there's actually a couple of settings you can see here. You can either set C only, C then A, A then C. And the switch between those two you just press you just press that button. And of course we'll set it for C U ROM because we'll need C U ROM. First then insert our little I had to burn the restore disk and I found and I and I heard that the, obtaining one of these laptops and even and too bad too bad too bad he has me blocked on uh, Facebook and Twitter and I can't even comment on his YouTube channel You know, or else I would actually give him the link to the to where to download this restore disk. But you know, you know, the things that you do in life to piss people off when you didn't know any better means that they lose out because of the successes that you've had, which is why you should always put behind you the past. And so we're going to boot up, and so we're going to just save our settings. And so it should, so we're going to boot from CD. So there's going to be two options. Boot from hard drive, boot from CD. We're going to boot from CD. And it starts Windows 98 boot disk. And so the way I'm going to install Windows 95 is instead of using an actual bona fide Windows 95 boot disk, no installation disk, which this disk, mind you, requires a floppy, a boot disk. This will allow us to do all of that, all of that 
without needing a boot disk. So press F1, F1. So it's going to detect our, it detects our hardware. You have magic, magic graph, install operating system, F1. So choose your operating system. We're going to be installing Windows 95. 95. F1. Reinstall or install OS. F1. So let's install the OS. This will take 15 minutes or something. So now we're on the uh, selection of software. You know what? We'll install McAfee Virus Scan on here. So what I want to do is just not select that one. And we'll just press Enter. And it'll just copy the files needed. So it's going to copy them all, already copy them. So I thought this would be really interesting to show off the restoration media for this thing. Since 90, since Billy Core was not able to show off in his video, I thought I'd do my own video and monopolize on this. Monopolize on a couple of things that that a lot of people will just miss out. Please remove the CD from the CD ROM drive. And that's what we'll do. Remove the CD. And these are, by the way, really good. If you can find this particular brand, this is a good brand of disk for these laptops. Drives. And just press F1. Now it'll... Now, this should run the setup. And then it must now be place cell. Let's place the disk in. So, our Windows 95 version OSR 2.1 disk is in here. So, let's insert that disk. Press F1. This should take. A while. So now we're ready to run the setup. And it's running the Windows 95 setup. Scan disk is running. And I actually copied, already copied over a bunch of different files to the machine. So as to have all the files that I would ever need. including some um, programs but I think I'm just going to install what came with the laptop along with like office let this do the scan or if it will take when I don't know when it'll take a while and this is a SD card solution that I'm using an SD card the IDE solution that I'm using so, if you're probably wondering what what I have on here, I should throw um I should throw at classic gaming arena on here. So now it should be running scan disk, scan disk. And I should be getting being I should be getting an accessory for this laptop. Um, coming this week, but I'll be busy just setting this laptop up.
Yeah, I already have my Windows directory. Yes, use it. I already have like files in there. Analyzing your computer hardware. I've never done this with the Windows 95 setup though. Which is really interesting. I should have like a key for this. Like, because I, I've always just installed Windows 95 plain without any on this machine without any of the extra stuff. But this just make but this this just makes it a heck of a lot easier to install 95. Even though you even though I have a bootable version of this disk that I made in um that I made in um with a magic ISO. Now there there's a program that that will take you way back. I mean that that is a program that is very hard to come by a with a, a pirated key nowadays. And that it's a use very useful program. And luckily I was able to procure the uh driver the uh, the restoration disk for this laptop. There's another version of there's another copy of this disk. But it doesn't, but it's not bootable. This one, the one that I'm using is the only bootable one that I was able to find. And I'm surprised that I didn't find this one. Like I would be surprised, I, I would, I, I'm, I would think that he would be, have been able to find it. But I guess that's because I'm very resourceful when it comes to Windows 95. And I know where to find crap. Like, I know where to find stuff like this. Unlike him. And... At least this will be, like, the only machine that I have, like, factory and in installation on. Which will be nice. Which will be nice. Seeing as factory is set up on a Windows 95 machine is something that I've always wanted to do. And this setup is very different from the setup is very different from from like Windows 98, isn't it? Like you've seen the Windows Millennium install and it's not really that different from Windows 998 both first edition as well as second edition. I wish I I could put first edition Windows ninety eight first edition on here. That would be a bit of a bit more of a period correct OS for this laptop. Even though this laptop came with ninety five, and so we see all the setup, and it's taking a while. I think it copies copied the files over. I'll have to go look for the files on here after I'm done because see what else it has installed. Which I would I highly recommend going into your add and remove programs and checking to see if everything has been installed properly on, on here. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to unplug my Ethernet. So I got my little network card there.
which I also have. I'll also show you the network card that's on here. And I just want to show the setup for Windows 95 on this on this laptop utilizing the restore media which I thought this would be really cool as this is kind of a different like what it's like to install the setup on original hardware so now it should sew it up. Yeah, someone came in. So we'll show up in Pentium MMX. Now it's starting up Windows 95 for the first time. And this is actually what Windows 95 setup looks like for the first time ever doing the setup. This is doing the plug and play, plug and pray, plug and play, plug and pray, plug and play, plug and pray. Gateway, more computing, more places. Gateway, more computing, more, more places. Gateway, more computing, more places. So it's installing our drivers. Yeah, it actually detect our Ethernet code. Wow. So this is going to require the We'll have to install that driver later. I'll install that driver later. And those dialogue, this dialogue style box is available in, um, is actually available on, um, is still in Windows 9, in Windows to this day. It just may go by different names and whatnot. So Windows 95 has been installed. With Internet Exploder, I mean Internet Explorer. So now it's going to copy the install. So it's going to copy the rest of the files over. And this actually will install every piece of hardware. Oh, uh, not hardware, software. For every piece of hardware that you may or may not have hooked up to this laptop. And you can tell that I actually have that, have the, um, a 3 com network card for this thing. So you can see it's installing DirectX 6.1, which is great because I don't have to go look for DirectX 7. Or at least I have DirectX 6 on here. It is installing the USB supplement update. And then Netscape Navigator, McAfee, or as we like to call, or what we call Crapafee. And this is cool. Because this is basically something you guys have never seen. On my on this channel is a gateway restore. 
media. So what we've got here, I'll shut my door, let's run and scan this, and it's installing the USB supplement update right now. It's just checking the drive. But when I'm done with this, I'm going to take this, um, that off, the, take the USB supplement update crap off, and install something else. Because I've got an, I have an artificial, uh, an artificial USB 2 driver for this. That I would, that, that I'd like to install on this machine. And I believe I'm going to keep Netscape Communicator 4.06. I don't think I'm also, I don't think I'm also going to put Winamp on here because Winamp would be just too bogged down. On this machine, it would be bogged down. And so you've never seen it do the whole restoration stuff. We're installing Adobe Reader. And the reason why I'm going to plug in the, um, I'm going to use, uh, and so a, another, like, an unofficial USB update on this laptop, once this whole thing is done, is because I want to run, I actually want to be able, be able to plug in thumb drives. And so, repair the error. Repair the error. I don't know what's wrong with that. I copied over a, a bunch of games to this. And so now it's installing the update. This is actually kind of a cool thing to watch this this go go about it today. Go about There was another this is similar to like the Gateway Essential ESS four fifty um rest restoration media. It's just really nice to be able to show off, to just to be able to show off the restoration media and how and how that process works on on such a system. I know that a unit. I know that the Flying Scotsman Jay Wakefield, before he too blocked me because I was being a. I was being a, a man named Damascus Rhodes. So let's install the rest of these updates. This is amazing. Watching the process of this thing go, going. This installs everything. And so now we have DirectX six point one on here, which is really nice. Which which will probably be as far as I am willing to go with this laptop. So we're going to watch this thing do the rest of its little voodoo. This is this is a lot of fun watching a restoration, watching Windows install itself. Especially if you do like an unattended boot CD, on on unattended installation, Adobe Reader. Lap link. And all it took was roughly 20, a 30 minute installation. And I thought this would be a good uh, video to do. 
So it's installing everything that that we requested to throw on here. Um, Adobe Reader, Acrobat Reader 3.01. And then it's going to update Windows 95 settings. Lap Link, which I don't know what Lap Link does. I'm going to go, I went ahead and put the Windows 95 disk away because we're not going to need that. Off. So it's going to start up the setup, install lap link, and I don't know what lap link does, but I wanted to show this, I wanted to show this off for years, like, this is kind of, a, this is a really neat thing. That happens and it's really neat, cool. And I should be, be getting an accessory for this um, laptop this week as of the recording. So I'll do a video on that when, when I get it. And you've probably seen the, um, Now it's installing Crapify. I mean, at M M M McAfee antivirus. McAfee, as some some of the as very funny people call it. Long live Matt M M McAfee. I wish that he could have became president in his time, because I'm sure he would have been a really good president. John McAfee would have been, or John McAfee. McAfee. So let's, um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see what we do. See, this actually makes it a lot easier for me to do all that I need. No, I can install DirectX 7 on this machine, and that would that would actually work for my purposes. But I'm glad that this comes with DirectX 6.1. And this is the Gateway Edition of Netscape Communicator, which is why we're going to keep it on here. And we're not going to be installing anything other than WinZip, and WinRAR. Because I think WinZip and WinRAR are perfectly fine. They're, they're much later versions than when this laptop would have come it would have been would have been used but they should still be period correct, especially um, for the time when this laptop would have probably been in use. You got to remember that my dad was still using like a Toshiba satellite, a Pentium MMX laptop similar to this machine. 
back in um back in 2002 for church stuff and i believe he was running windows 98 second edition or either that or first edition on it i know my dad was running 98 fe on his um AMD K62 machine. So this should allow, come up with new settings, finalizing the settings for Windows 95, which I thought would be pretty cool. So this basically installs everything that we need. And so now, what's cool is it's all set up. It's all set up now. So we don't really need to, so we're done with the setup. And that that's basically what uh, installing Windows 95 from using the gateway restoration media. Oh yeah, I can name myself. So let's give ourselves our name. Yes. Let's do all ones. I mean, that that's actually a legit thing. Um, we enter. I'll be right back. So yeah, the, that key worked. McAfee, crap. Curios. And I'll probably have to run, use the, um, so you can see it's installed every piece of software, hardware. And so I'll show you, I'll probably have to copy the, the OEM info file over here from the disk. But we can always insert the actual disk. And this also contains drivers for other accessories. Like, for instance, let's see. Yeah, it didn't even install the drivers on here. Like this. Like. Like, you can use one of these uh, Adaptex SCSI adapters. And boy, that, that's... But this is... Like the drivers for this thing for this card are were on the restore this that I had to make the copy of the of the disk for. So if the drivers do not install right, what you want to do what you want to do you'll want to do is you'll want to And I'm going to hook it up. And I'm going to hook it up for right now because I'm going to insert the driver's CD for this thing because I don't know why I didn't install the drivers for it. 
So whatever additional setup you may need to do, well, you can do it with this disc. You can do it with this disc. That'll display what we need. So it will... And I actually used... Um, I used... Um, I used... Magic ISO to um to to burn this disc. I did not modify it in any way. I have other drivers on here that I have other um I have other um drivers on this machine and other thing programs and utilities and just updates to the general operating system that I'm going to install to this machine. So let's see if it'll properly run the network adapter. So any kind of initial setup for any kind of a network adapter may have to be done. So I'm going to restart or any other like device. And this is basically without any of the enhancements for Windows 95, as you can see. We don't even have Internet Explorer um, 4 on here. This is not OSR 2.5. Ah, that classic shutdown screen. So any kind of initial additional setup that you may need to do to the laptop, you can do right there. Boot the hard drive. So let's see what it'll do. So if you ever so if it missed some stuff or you need to copy some files from the from the um from the um, CD, which I will be including drivers. As well as, um, as well as, um, as well as, um, I will also be including drivers as well as, um, as well as um drivers as well as um as like as well as restore media Netware remove netware. I don't really need netware. I don't want netware. I just I want to have the TCP IP. See, this is what you might what you will want to do is install the TCP IP. And I think there's some updates that you can also install on here as well. But at least now we have like TCP IP, which will give us proper networking. So just try to restart. Sometimes when that's weird that Windows ninety five would hang on this system. Normally it doesn't do that with this computer.
take the desk out. And so now this should have like the clients for windows. And that's like, that's like another thing you can do after setting it up, like some basic setup for networking. If you've got like the drivers for this card. And so if you've got that whole setup, it uses the Windows login. So let's go into here and actually select clients for Windows. See, so we're going to use clients for Windows because that's what I would prefer to use. And you can see that we've got our, our um, TCP IP and IPX stuff set up. For now, some other additional setups. And there's like even more stuff that you that you might want to set up like Windows updates. But the thing about doing Windows updates on here is that might be an additional setup that might take a while. So let's see if we've got let's see if we've got internet access. Because because remember it didn't do the um, setup for the drivers and I don't know how to where the, where it sticks the drivers for this thing, so I don't know if we're going to have proper networking. Maybe you you have to take the network card out during the setup, which is what I would recommend. And there we go. We got we've got the clients for Windows. There we go. Clients for Windows. And I don't even know if the in if the um if the internet is working. Well, maybe we can just check our 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 IP settings. Check all our settings. I don't know if we're going to get internet. Maybe I can show you another thing that you might want to do. You might want to do this after you, like the first thing I would do is install that. So install this particular update, which is the, um, which is the Microsoft Dial-Up 1.3. And then you install IE4 and then you install Done 14. And so it's installing the done update. And see that dialog, Windows 95 setup dialog box, is still in modern Windows to this day. So let's see what. Yeah, it's going to. I'm going to go make my tea and then it's installing the VPN software, which is a very useful thing to have. And Windows 95. But it's a thing that you'll probably want to install. I don't know if the TCP update I need to, if I need, need to do the Winsock update. I don't think I have to do that. And in fact I would opt out in doing that. It this causes more weird issues with networking. So, and you may have to install a couple of updates here and there with 95. It's, it's one of those operating systems you will probably want to do that with. And I've got the latest versions of the three common NIC card drivers on here. Might as well install the latest version of this. Because this will actually give us proper support. And so now I got my fan on. And so same dialog box. I just want, I want to test the uh, internet. Keep it. I want to, I want to test the internet out on here. Now, just booting in, 
Ding. So now I'm going to probably delete that file since I've already done that. There we go. See, I've got Internet Explorer version 4.01 Service Pack 2. Now I'm going to go and install this IE setup. IE for setup. .exe. And this will set it up. Yes. And this is actually, I'm installing this because I wanted to test the internet out. And yes, I'm going to install this. And this is something that I would highly recommend you do the setup for once once you're done with Windows. I highly recommend installing this on your 95 machine, even if you're not going to be using um, the desktop update like I am. I feel that. I feel that for our purposes, or rather my, my purposes, so it's going to create a backup of the current configuration. Copying the files. So what it'll do is it'll copy the files over and it's going to extract the desktop update. That is what we want. And I'll show you what some of the additional I'm going to show you what some of the additional basic setup is. I have every update for this version of, of Internet Explorer, but I'm not going to install the updates for this. Because I will install IE version 5 on here anyway. Because version 5 is much better than version 4. I just need version 4 for basic internet. Since it's really all I'm going to need for the time being. And I thought IE version 4 would be a pretty interesting thing to show off. Install the full version. Yeah, this kind of makes it like a mini Windows 98 with this um, on here. Which this update really did improve a lot of things with Windows 98. Or not nine, yeah, ninety eight. When they included this with Windows ninety eight, the Google Internet Explorer four was a very good update to ninety eight, first edition, compared to stock Windows ninety five, which was offered this update for free. You didn't have to uh, buy 98 first edition to get this update. You got it for free. And so what I'm going to do is test our internet out. And I thought IE version 4, since I want to install the, um, since I want to install the Um, desktop update, why not? There's a way to do it with, uh, with Windows, uh, with Internet Explorer 5, but I don't know how to do it at the moment. Or, I, rather, I do know how to do it. Rather, I do know how to do it. I just don't want to do it in this video. And so, this will... 
this will update Windows. And you'll, you'll see why this is a very useful thing to have on here. I will show you. And here's this kind of a look at into from stock Windows 98. Active desktop. See, that's what our Windows. And that's what um, the what it looks like. And I'll show you what, what this looks like after we restart. And I'll show you the differences. That's like that's like one thing that I'll show you. It'll add a couple of things to the desktop. Setup must restart. So we're now, now you get to see, see that dialog box is actually still present in Windows, um, it's still present in Windows to this very day. And it will go by various names. I took my shirt off because it's hot. And I'm sure you can tell. I'm, I'm like, screw that if people see my chest, so what? It's hot in my room. And, you know, bite me. The personalizing settings that is in modern windows. To this very day. And so it installs the active desktop update, and you can see it's installed the uh, icon. Now if I had like um, the plus pack installed, the icons would actually be in proper, would have their proper color, but they don't. Now I'm going to show you something really cool. Watch. If we open up folder like blood, we can actually go back, and it does, and it changes the interface to look to function more like Windows 95. Not 95, more like 98's interface. And it just improves everything so much better. So now we have the active desktop update. So let's load internet. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, yeah, set up on a LAN. Local area, proxy server, no, set up internet mail account, no, set up news, no, internet directory service, why not, no. Or, nah, nah. Now we're done. See, now we, we can we actually get internet. Good, we we're getting actual internet. Now I thought one more thing to show off before we we go off with our video would be to show the setup for. Plus pack. Let's go to. Let's go to files. I am going to delete IE version four. I'm not really going to set up. Or maybe maybe we'll inst I'll install IE version five. I'll copy the updates to the um there. 
maybe I'll install IE version 5. There is a way to install the desktop update with IE 5. It's just I don't want to go through that. It's such a complicated process. In this video anyway. Might do that in, in a particular video at some point. Or custom. Let's do custom. And we're going to install all of that. Not needing. And these are offline installations. Macromedia Flash, web folders, additional web fonts, multi language. I might as well just install the text file input. Hebrew text, why not? Why not install it all? Check if we've gotten all this stuff in here. And it'll install all of that. If you've seen the setup, it'll just download and install all this stuff. I'll let it do, but that's basically how the Windows setup works. No, the Internet Explorer 5 setup works. And this, and this modifies Windows even further and adds more features. Now we're going to restart. Floppy drive kicking in. So now... You should have internet. Yeah, I opened my windows so now you can't don't have to look at me with my bare chest in the reflection. So I just opened the window to allow some cold air in. See see that disc that restore disc does us a lot of a, a major favor. There's that window again, a dialog box. Which as I said before, can be found in in even modern windows. And now I'm going to install the plus pack. So yep, we're running so this should install some additional things and it and it basically gets rid of that active desktop thing that came up.
Well, that doesn't get rid of it, actually. But it adds a new connect to uh, the internet window, which this is the connection wizard for IE5. So you can see it's really, it's different from that of the other one. No. So let's run it. Now, if you have like um, Internet Explorer, it'll show up in here. Like, not just IE 5.5 .5 will show up here, even IE version 4. So let's go to a website. Let's do Windows Update Restore dot com. And you can go to this website and you can even update Windows with So you can go to, let's go down and see what version, the version that we want is version 3.1, if you ever wanted to update. But I'll show you this, but I'll just show you this, and it even, it restores the functionality of the old Windows update. It's really cool. So let's check for product updates. And this is cool. This is like another additional setup that you can do. And this will take care of like additional setup for Windows 95 that you might want to do. And this is neat. Stuff that you can install critical updates. You can install DirectX 8. I would not recommend installing DX8 on here. And you can install additional language packs that may or may not have been installed on that. But that's not what I wanted to show. I just decided to show that this to check the internet again. So the next thing that you will probably want to do, I'm going to delete this. Delete! 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 Internet Explorer, um... Oh, uh, 5.5 service pack 2. By the way, that whole delete, delete is, um, old wrestling reference. Matt Hardy. Broken down Matt Hardy. And that's a little patch for that. I'll copy that on here. I finally remember that wrestler too, Matt Hardy. Uh, I miss Endless Jess. 
I miss and and endless dress is like commentaries on how dumb people are. So this will actually enable like the high color, which you can also um high color icons, which you can also enable through a registry hack. But I can, but I very much content with using IE not in IE using um the plus pack see this is one of the setup for whatever reason and do all ones <laughs> so you can tell that I know a fair bit about Windows setups and I'll show you the icons custom yeah, we'll install the theme. This installs the themes. And this is good to install because it gives us act the ability to use themes. Yeah, it already has the latest version. This is OSR version 2.5. This is OSR version 2.5. Not 2.5. This is OSR version 2.1. 2.1. Not 2.5. So I'll have to go into the settings and disable some stuff. Because we are running on an SSD. And so our we have we now have internet access on this laptop, which is sweet. And I'll show you what the icons do. I'll show you what the icons do. And this is, as I said, this may be additional setup that you may have, that you will probably want to do because it just enhances the visuals for Windows 95. And this will also add a micro, micro something like Microsoft Plus Pack installed to the system information underneath the Windows 95B and version of, of Windows 95. information as I'll show you that as I'll show you show you that right now once we get done here I should install the power toys for 95 restart and so now you can see maybe you see that the colors are much better so now Colors should display right, and you can see the IE icon doesn't look all weird. And it also installs these nice higher end quality icons. And you can see that everything is displaying in high color. So I'll show you. It just gives us a lot of enhanced visual enhancements. And we can go to plus and add some more customization, the windows, and now we got high color 16, we can do high color 24, and in fact I'll do high color 24. And so we can see even with like, um, so I'll show you what I meant by the even adding a Microsoft Plus for Windows 95 thing there. It's... And so I hope that you enjoyed the video. Until ne next time, peace out everyone. And see it even changes the shutdown dialog.